is Marina from Soul in the Raw and if you are new around here I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up because I make weekly vegan videos with delicious whole food plant-based recipes, fitness tips and just general wellness lifestyle tips so be sure to subscribe. So a maybe a week ago now I put up this post on Instagram and everybody went crazy for it and it was after I watched this awesome recipe video by Deliciously Ella I was literally just sitting around watching it and not really planning to make food because honestly I was making food that whole entire day for uh, YouTube videos and I just saw that video and I was like, I have to go now and use my food processor because it looks so good. And it was for peanut butter bars that were super healthy, super delicious, and I just had to make my own version. So I did, and all of you really, really asked me for the recipe, so of course I had to go and make it. This is a really, really simple peanut butter bar. It's healthy, it's easy to make, it's oil-free, it's sugar-free, all the good stuff, and it honestly tastes incredible. I will go so far as to say that this is the best recipe, the best dessert, the best dessert I've ever made. So I'm really, really excited to share it with you. I can't wait for you to make it, so let's go and make it right now. So for the crust, oh my God, I seriously can't help to start with my sentences without so. Anyways, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna do rolled oats. There it is again, so. We're gonna do rolled oats, raisins, and you're going to sort of process in between just so that it's easier and very well dispersed. I'm using organic raisins and dates. I process the rolled oats first and then I'm adding the raisins and dates and then I process again. So those are three ingredients in our crust. It is so beautiful. And it, this stuff is actually so good. I mean, you can actually eat it as a cookie. It's that yummy. And then the last thing we're going to add is almond butter. And this makes the crust so much softer than all my other crusts that I've ever done. So I really like this addition. And I use a little teaspoon to get it out of the measuring cup because it's a nightmare. Uh, so you're going to process a few more times until you get a soft, sticky consistency. And you want to make sure that it all sticks together really, really easily and just sort of pretty soft. Um, and then use, uh, I think this is a nine inch, but I will have it um, on the blog, all the exact measurements of everything. So I think this is a nine inch glass baking dish and I just lined it with parchment paper so that it's easier to get out. And you're going to put it in there and just smush it up with your fingers until it's all the way to the edges. And it's gonna be really easy to do because it's a very soft mixture. As I mentioned, you can enjoy even this as a cookie without even doing the filling, but the filling is really good, so you're going to want to do that. For the filling, of course, we're using my all-time favorite, most delicious peanut butter. I love peanut butter. If you're allergic to peanuts, though, you can easily use almond butter for this, too. And then we're going to sweeten it with dates, medjool dates, sticky, sweet, yummy, and some soy milk. As you can see, I'm using the same measuring cup as for the peanut butter. Less dishes is always a good thing. And this is what you get, and you're going to resist. Resist eating it all from the food processor like we did. I mean, we ate a little bit from the food processor, but resist your best. Um, and then I like to use a silicone spatula, it makes it a lot easier to get everything out, all that mixture on top of the crust. So how many ingredients was that? That was seven ingredients. It is unbelievable how good this dessert is for seven ingredients, or for actually for anything, it's just really good. And I love that we're using a food processor so you don't need a blender, it's a lot cheaper and you're just going to smother it all and freeze it. But before that, optionally, top it with yummy, crunchy cacao nibs. So that we have some chocolate in there too. So good. 
All right, we're done. How freaking easy was that? How many ingredients was it? Like six, seven? I don't remember. But it's really, really simple and I hope you're not intimidated to make this recipe. So please go and try it. And if you love the style of recipe, I think my recipes are pretty unique because I don't use any form of sugar. I sweeten everything with dates, which is the best whole food sweetener. So if you love this one, please be sure to click somewhere around me here for uh, the next one, the next dessert. And all my recipes are super simple, super delicious, and really great for the whole family to enjoy, including children and including adults. Believe me, we just demolished this recipe, this, uh, the, these peanut butter bars. So I am sure that you will too. I love you so much. Um, again, please remember to subscribe and like this video. It really helps me grow my channel, so I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.